Okay, the following video is going to cover how to uh, manually oil and uh, apply a ply valve to a either a piece of packaging film or a pre-made bag. Um, this is, it's not the preferred way to apply a valve, but it, it'll work to get you through R&D testing. Um, it's, it's a little bit tedious and uh, there's a couple of things you need to look out for, like uh, making sure the hole is punched completely through the bag and how much oil you're putting into the valve, etc. So we'll go through that as we demonstrate the process. But um, basically the items you need, obviously your packaging film or your pre-made bag. Um, you need a strip of valves. Uh, there's two sides to the strip. One side has the valve on it, the second side is the liner or the carrier. The carrier actually has a small hole that exposes the valve membrane. You need some form of a punch. Um, we have two types of punches we use here. One is a, a single hole punch and um, the second one is a nine hole punch. If you're using a filtered valve, which we're going to demonstrate with here, um, nine hole punch is okay. You could have a nine hole punch in the bag as well as nine filters in the valve or you could use a single hole. It's, it's your option. Um, you need a paper clip or a method of uh, picking up the oil and dosing. There's Here at Ply Day, we, we, we use two types of paper clips. I, for this method, I typically use the smaller one because I don't want as large of a dose of oil. So <clears throat> we'll walk you through how to do that. And then you need the valve oil. The valve oil that we use is um, our AM number 4915. And um, that is a food grade oil that has a small loading of, um, of uh, graphite to it. So it's a, a, again, food grade oil with graphite. And um, what you want to make sure you do before you start this test, I've already done it, is you want to agitate the bottle to shake it up real good so you get a, a suspension of the graphite in the oil. So all you're going to do, oh, one other thing, uh, silicone pad. We need the silicone pad because we're going to punch into the material and um, we want to get a nice clean punch. Our applicators actually have, <clears throat> on the coffee tube, actually have a silicone pad with a Teflon coating over it so the film will slide. So we're, we're really replicating pretty much how our application system would function. So what I do is I take the uh, silicone pad, um, place that inside the bag or behind the packaging film. Typically. Um, in a bag application, we'll recommend applying the valve in the upper third. We do have some customers that put it lower in the lower third or in the middle of the bag, but for testing, we'll, we'll typically put it in the, the upper third of the bag. So this is a sealed bag here with an open end on one side. Um, we're going to take the small paper clip. We're going to just put it into the bottle. Um, you'll see it's going to pick up a large dose of oil right away. I don't. I don't typically use that. That's a little bit on the larger side. There's no sense of putting more oil in the valve than what you need. So what I'll typically do is wipe that dose away and then take the second drop that forms. Um, so pick up the oil, wipe it away, and then there's a second dose of oil that's coming down the paper clip. You can kind of see it's, you know, on the end of the uh, clip there. That's the dose that I'm going to use. So I don't use the first, I use the second. Now, <clears throat> when we dose the oil into the valve, we're, we're not using the side of the liner um, that the valve's on, so I'll just demonstrate this for you. This is the side where the valve is. It's on the top. I'm going to peel one off. We're actually flipping it over and using the bottom side. So on the bottom side, there is a hole in the liner. You can kind of see the hole here. That's where we're going to dose the fluid. So there are <clears throat> membranes to the valve which actually um, separate when it's under pressure and then they reseal. It's important that we get the right amount of oil into those membranes, so not too much oil. And when you're oiling the valve, you also <clears throat> don't want to let the valve sit on the liner for too long before you apply it to the bag. When you do that, um, you can jeopardize oil getting between the liner and the adhesive and contaminating the adhesive. So, my recommendation is you'd oil up three to five of these valves at a time and you'd apply them within say about a minute, two minutes max. I wouldn't I wouldn't oil up an entire strip of valves, let them sit there for you know 30, 40 minutes and then apply them. There's a chance that you can get a failure that way. So again, we're we're dealing with the liner side of the, the valve, not the side that the valve's on. We're gonna pick up our oil. I got my first drop, I wipe it away.
So I just oiled three valves. <clears throat> what I'm looking for here, and the more you do this, the better you'll get, is you're actually gonna see that oil start to migrate into what we refer to as the dry strap region of the valve. So one of those layers is the base of the valve, the other one is the dry strap. And we're looking for a migration of that oil into the dry strap region. It's, it's gonna be hard to see here <clears throat> with the camera. When you do it, um, you'll be able to see it with your eye. It, it takes, it's already been about 10 seconds and 25% of that dry strap is wetted out. So it's okay to apply at this point. Um, we've got enough oil in there, I can see it. It's moving, it's, it's gonna create a reseal. Over the next minute or so, about 50% of that dry strap region is gonna be wetted. Um, when you put the proper amount of oil in it, you're probably gonna get somewhere around 75% of the dry strap wetted. So don't expect to see an entire uh, wetted out dry strap. So, so I've got oil in the valve. I've got my uh, silicone pad behind my substrate that I'm gonna punch. I'm just going to make a make a hole. Okay, it's clearly uh, all the way through the packaging film. Sometimes people will um, poke a hole by hand, and it looks like the hole is there. But what they've actually done is extended the uh, sealant layer on the inside of the bag material, um, and you don't really have a hole. That can create a failure in application. The bags will puff up, and they won't really degas because you don't have a complete hole in the bag. So I've got a hole in the bag. I peel my valve off the release liner, being careful not to contaminate the adhesive layer. Um, there are oils in your skin that can transfer into the adhesive layer, and um, you certainly don't want to touch that. Take my valve, I apply it over the hole, and then I just simply apply some pressure. Pull the silicone pad out, and um, now I have a bag that uh, has a pre-applied valve to it. <clears throat> so the things that uh, that I want you know anybody that's going to perform this test to really look out for is to make sure that they're not using too much oil. Um, like I said, I typically use the second one. I'll pick up the oil, I'll wipe off the first drop, and then I use the second drop. Make sure that you've got a complete hole through the bag material. That's very, very important. And uh, thirdly, don't let the oil and the valves sit on the liner for too long before applying. So, you know, three to five valves can be oiled at a time, and then try to apply them within a minute to two minutes. Um, we don't want those to sit there, like I said, for 30 minutes before you apply them. Uh, if you have any questions at all, my name is Rob Larson. I uh, manage the engineering department here at Flytech. I've uh, been here for about 20 years, and. I can certainly uh, walk you through this over the phone or clarify anything in the video that's not, uh, that's not clear. So thank you for the time.